Hi, welcome back to another video from A Geek and Two Words. Today, I want to talk to you again about the Xbox Series X. There's just so many great new games that have been released on this console that I've got to try them all on the ultra widescreen monitor. I know that's what you want from me. If you haven't already, then please check out the video that I did on Halo on the ultra widescreen monitor. The link is somewhere on this screen. I want to talk about another great game on the Xbox Game Pass, and that is Forza Horizon 5. This latest instalment is set in Mexico and is your opportunity to drive around the countryside, enjoy the vistas and the amazing scenery as you challenge friends both online and in single player. Personally, one of my favourite games and I'm really excited for this latest instalment. It looks incredible. It's the first one that has been released on the Xbox Series X and the Series S, and it takes full advantage of some of the graphical powers that is in this console. Now, this game is available on all of the Xbox, but there are some graphical tweaks that the Xbox Series X is able to take advantage of. Now, hopefully, we're gonna see some of that on the ultra widescreen monitor, but as mentioned before, this screen is getting a little bit old and certainly won't be able to hit some of the top refresh rates that this console and this game can offer. That being said, let's see what it looks like.
Forza Horizon 5 on the ultra widescreen monitor and on the Xbox Series X. Did you like it? Is this one of your favourite instalments or are you a motorsport fan and don't like the really open world play? Let me know in the comments below. I think that the ultra widescreen monitor works really well on racing car games. I've certainly noticed that in the past, the stretching is not quite so pronounced on these racing games. It gives you a much better field of view and it transports you more to that location. If you're in Mexico driving around on these amazing tracks. As usual, my usual proviso is that I probably wouldn't necessarily look to play these games primarily on the ultra widescreen monitor. I think I would still play on the OLED television but I think actually it's passable. The racing car games are definitely passable on the ultra widescreen monitor. And if you like this video, if you like my channel and you wanna know more, please hit subscribe, leave me a comment in the box below and I'll get back to you.